Hey guys, what is going on? Bleaker here, and today I'm going to demonstrate to you in Factorio how I would set up a modular and adaptive factory design. Now what do I mean by, by modular and adaptive? Well, that's very simple. Let's say you set up two of these assembly machines, and you realize, oh wait, I don't have enough production coming out of these two assembly machines to actually supply my factory. Then all of a sudden you get into, I've just been bottlenecked there, I've been bottlenecked here, I literally don't have the room to do it. Well, after I show you this, hopefully I'll kind of send you on your way. Now, this is kind of a design that I have, options, sound, down, there we go. Now this is kind of a design that I worked on for uh, a couple minutes before I finally clicked. Um, what a lot of people don't know about me is in uh, in real life, I'm actually what you would consider a um, a controls engineer is the most apt description of something that I come up with. So what do I do? I make sure that um, factories per se um, run more efficiently in short terms. I actually specialize with automation equipment. So let me kind of show you one of my designs here. Let's take something um, hmm, fairly simple here. We'll like, ignore most of this. We'll come over here to the gear factory. Now as you can see, this, this is the gear factory. Where the hell do I have the gear factory? Here it is over here. No, that's not it. Where do I have my gears coming in? Ah, right here. Here's my gear, the gear producing portion of my factory. Now, it looks kind of confusing, but I'll kind of walk you through it. So how to make a gear is we bring in one iron, which I have supplying here. It comes up and then is uh, carried down these um, transport belts, picked up by the fast inserters, created, and then dropped over. Now, what makes this adaptive is say, oh, let's say you only have four of these. Well, even if if you don't block your part, the upper parts, you can very, very easily expand. Let's kind of demonstrate to you how to make one of these. So we'll use the example of oh, what's a pretty good, easy item for me to kind of demonstrate on something simple to make here. I don't like stone furnaces. Something logistically should not be hard. Ah, transport belt, that's a good one. So it takes an iron, one iron plate, and one iron gear. So we're just gonna kinda simulate this here. So you have your iron coming up here. Yeah, right, I'm doing this right. So you have iron coming up here. What you do is you take two. I like to do this in groups of two, so when you actually cover it in power, Actually, I prefer to use big electric poles, but I like to do this in groups of two. Because it should, for the most part, meet all of your demands. If not, you can always plug power in over there. So you would set this for um, the iron gears. So you'd very quickly set that for iron gears. And then... Now what I do here is I hold shift, right click, and paste. Or just shift and left click, and that configures the design in there. So what happens is we take, oh, I only want one, and I'm kind of a stickler for some symmetry, so I'm just going to kind of stick this in the middle. So our iron would come down here, so that's the only ingredient that we need, and iron wheels would come out. Now what you want to do here is when you bring it out, let's take a couple more inserters, bring those out, and then we'd merge this into another iron belt. Bring that up like this, and I'll actually show you my completed one when I'm all done, what I actually used in this factory. So then we'd bring in our two ingredients for our belt, and now you might be asking yourself, why is this design adaptable? Well, let me demonstrate that, because it does not take very much effort for you to take, an to take more assembly machines and just keep on stacking them up. See, when I designed this, I had that in mind. Now my actual factory, my actual um, conveyor belt factory is this. So say if I really quick wanted to just add on two more assembly machines, this is how easy it is. One, two, supply it with power like so. I'm just gonna kinda do it like this. 
all you need to do is bring up the materials, fast inserters, Oop, my apologies, copy over the design and boom, you just increase the your factory's capacity to actually make inserters. And that is why I really like this adaptive, I kind of call it a module design. You can literally copy and paste this in anywhere. And if you keep your factory in kind of this modu modular design, it's actually very, very easy to um, adapt your factory for greater use. So eventually what you're ultimately gonna be limited by is how much you're actually able to produce on the, your, um, how much raw iron you're actually able to consume and produce into iron plates. Um. Hmm. Anything else I should cover to let you guys in on secrets? So that's my completely, and that right there is my adaptable factory design. Now you can pretty much bring that in on any design. So like for instance, um, splitters. I bring in, if I wanted to add in more, I did kind of bottleneck myself on this one and I will admit that this is kind of a poor example, but say these um, actual Oh, what are these? Inserters. Yeah, I can't remember names for some reason today. Again, literally, just extend your belt, plop down a few more assembly machines, bring this down, and it's already ready to roll. And I even did the same thing here with this. This is the same. These are the same. Very easy. Like I said, it's a completely adaptable system. Um, so, uh, thank you guys for... Um, checking out my video. Um, I hope you learned something. If you want to see any more Factorio demos, please do inform me in the comments section below. If you want to know more on my modular design, please inform me. I'll do a couple of videos and maybe I'll even uh, show how to assemble one of these modular factories from scratch and like good, good ways to do this. Um, but uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something and I will see you next time. Uh, as usual, guys, make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, what have you. And uh, thank you for all your support. But until next time, guys, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya.